wieder
man's Norman Tebbit, he hates laughter. <laughs> and young people shouldn't be allowed to go around smashing up private property unless they are members of a very, very exclusive drinking society. <laughs> During the riots, I saw Michael Gove on news and he was appalled. He was appalled. He said it was rampant criminality and I thought that was brave. Very brave. For let's not forget that Michael Gove once confused one of his houses with another of his houses to defraud the taxpayer of £7,000. So he knows rampant criminality when he sees it. I saw Ed Miliband on the news tonight. He looked shocked. His eyes were wide, mouth open. and He wasn't shocked, but he looked shocked. So David Cameron, he, rec he recalled Parliament. Now, I know some of you have said that for all the good it did, it may as well have recalled the Thundercats. But that's not true. <laughs> Recalling Parliament gave us MPs a chance to do our job, which is to look concerned and shout at each other in that building there. <laughs> David Cameron said that the riots were a time for Britain to take stock. I couldn't disagree more. If anything, that was the problem. They took stock from JJV Sports, they took it from Carpenter Warehouse. The riots were a time to bring stock back. <laughs> Oh, and then you all had a go at David Starkey, didn't you? Oh, the politically correct police had a go at David Starkey. Let me tell you something. I hate political correctness. I abhor political correctness. I have a handicapped son. But nowadays, you can't say handicapped son. You have to say, I have a daughter. when they booked Starkey. You know the old saying, give David Starkey enough rope and he'll try and lynch a black person with it. <laughs> Starkey got in trouble for saying that if you turn the sound off, turn the screen off, David Lammy sounded white. Which is interesting because if you turn the screen off, David Starkey sounds like a massive racist. <laughs> <clears throat> and then they had the gall to blame us. They said it was our fault because of the expenses scandal. We weren't leading properly. Well, let me tell you. A few, a few mistakes may have been made. In my own case, these include the Duck Island, the Donkey Archipelago, the Beaver Peninsula, and the series of outbuildings that became known as Monkey Mansions. In retrospect, with a little cursory research, I could have discovered that rhesus monkeys are highly aggressive and territorial and infectious, but had I known that, I could not in all good conscience have hired them to work in our local Shore Start Centre. <laughs> Questions were also raised over the fact that I paid my wife £86,000 a year for secretarial services. But look at it this way, I used to have a very, very expensive prostitute habit. <laughs> By paying my wife a nominal fee for the same services, apart from the anal, we've had to outsource that. 
It's a cost saving to the taxpayer. Her shorthand is excellent. Her other hand's not bad either. <laughs> so it's been conference season. Conference season where we saw Ed Balls really stick it to people on tuition fees, didn't we? He stuck it to those who think that £9,000 a year is small change on behalf of those who think that £6,000 a year is small change. <laughs> Ed Miliband told a story about his two young sons, who he called the next generation of Milibands. He said he hopes that they turn into doctors, presumably so that when one stabs the other in the back, he can at least sew him up. <laughs> it was a good speech. It was wealth creators versus asset strippers, predators versus producers, predators versus aliens, Mario versus Sonic, Run DMC, and Aerosmith. All important stuff. So I've changed my opinion, Miliband. I used to think that he looked like a haunted broom peering up from the bottom of a startled well. <laughs> now I think he looks like an albino pepperami in a winter. <laughs> <Step up. clears throat> so we're in coalition now, and a lot of people ask me, what is a coalition? Well, I like to think of it like this. A coalition is when you take two powerful complementary forces and put them together to make something even better. So for instance, if you took a weasel and you put it into a sack, with another weasel, and you squeeze really, really hard, then maybe, just maybe, you'll end up with one enormous mega weasel! <laughs> or two dead ordinary weasels and a sack full of weasel blood. It's a win-win! <laughs> the essence of the coalition is compromise. David Laws was very against the sort of cuts we're proposing, now he's very for them. Vince Cable was against raising the 80 to 20%, now he's very for it. Nick Clegg was against raising tuition fees, now he's for it. There's been a lot of compromise on both sides of the Lib Dems. <laughs> but we had to do it, we had to do these things because of the economy. When we came into power, the uh, borrowing had never been as high as a proportion of GDP. Never, never, ever, never, ever, ever since 1993. <laughs> and you don't want to go back there. There were only four television channels and Terry Christian was on one of them. <laughs> Margie Clark's good sex guide! <laughs> Mr. Blobby! <laughs> Jamiroquai! <laughs> <laughs> like that! Overnight in 1993, global hypercolour t-shirts aren't cool anymore. <laughs> and you have to sit on the far side of the bus on the scroll trip to Bewley, listening to Genesis on tape and wishing you were dead. <laughs> comprehensive spending review. We had to have a comprehensive spending review, as a result of which half a million public servants will lose their jobs. I'd like to take a serious moment now to say a word to them, which is... <laughs> you didn't think we'd do it! You didn't think we'd do it, but we did! Forest's gone! Aircraft carrier's gone! Doctor's gone! Nurses gone! Library's gone! Poor people fucked! Not so poor people fucked! Disabled people fucked! Rich people! No, hang on, let's not get silly. <laughs> We are all in this together, unless you want to get a degree, in which case you're on your fucking own. <laughs> we have to sell off the forest. Mrs. Thatcher needs a new place for her gingerbread house. <laughs> People say Andrew Lansley is a shill for private health care. That's not true. That's his wife's job. <laughs> The £21,000 he took for John Nash, CEO of Care UK, he didn't know who he was. He's not corrupt, he's just stupid. <laughs> I, li I like to say something about the NHS. When my wife had our daughter, they, we, she had a difficult delivery. I would just like to say that without the kindness and experience and expertise of the NHS, my wife would not be here today and I would be a free man. <laughs> Tourists come from all over the world to experience our healthcare system, so to stop that, we should make it worse! We have the best healthcare providers in the world, so we must change it immediately! <clears throat> you don't even know what NHS stands for, really. It could stand for National Herpes Service, the Nando's and Halitosis Society, the, I don't know, Nipple Hemorrhage System. You don't know, none of you! We have a lot of problems in this country. One of the most major of which is violence against women. We must ask ourselves as a society, why? Why is there such violence against women? The answer is because they just don't listen. <laughs> Take Margaret Thatcher. You wouldn't have seen Margaret wandering around Croydon City Centre with her tits hanging out at three o'clock on a Sunday morning. See, don't you wish your girlfriend was hot like me? <laughs> you couldn't. She had her tits removed in 1948 and replaced with iron spikes that had fired from her chest and punctured your eyeballs if you even thought about her tits. <laughs> 
<laughs> Just ask David Blunkett. <laughs> We've gone too soft in this country. The Archbishop of Canterbury says we need Sharia law. We don't need Sharia law. In Riyadh, they'll cut off your hand for stealing a loaf of bread. That's outrageous. <laughs> Capital punishment is the only language some people understand. Even worse, French is the only language some other people understand. <laughs> I was hanged every day at school. It didn't do me any harm apart from... Apart from a withered arm and some sexual dysfunction. Oh yes, I haven't had an erection since the Falklands War. It wasn't just the Belgrano that went down that night. Hear a lot of poppycock talk nowadays about the decline in British motoring. Time was you saw nothing but British cars on the road. The Triumph Gerald. The Morris Tea Cake. The Austin Nanny. Came with twin airbags as standard. Airbags, you can just lose yourself in them. Forget all about Daddy not coming to see you open the batting for the second eleven. <laughs> Father, you're too old for Daddy now! You're too old for Daddy now! Do you want to go to the cellar? Do you want to go to the cellar when it's dark and it's cold? There are crack rats crawling out the corner of the room and you can cry, 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 and you can cry, you can cry, you can cry. Oh, don't get me to get you! It'll make a man of you! <laughs> You killed the poor mother with your enormous head. <laughs> St. George, good English saint, St. George, born in Malta, lived in Libya, never came to England in his life. He was as English as the Prince of Wales. Oh yes, Charles Schleswig, Holstein, Sachs, Coburg, Gotha, as English as you or I. Not you, you look Mediterranean. You can tell he's English. One, he owns castles. Two, he's eccentric. And three, he's attracted to a woman who looks like she's passing her way through a cow's second stomach. These are English values, English virtues, green teas, sticky wickets, queen mother and... Oh, God! Oh! 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 You'll excuse me, I'm just going to go and cancel my subscription to the Daily Mail.
We're all in bars. Far too friendly. <laughs> every officer on this corner and the only way to leave this bridge is by the south exit and make your way up the Fisco back north of the river using any other bridge. What if I told you I'm going to a fancy dress party? <laughs> then I'd ask you to use a bit of common sense, it'd take 10 minutes to walk down there and across there and this whole issue would be clear. But well, that is wasting my time. Go all the way around. That's, that's the what if I took it off and put it and held it? I'm asking you kindly. I'm trying to be. Yeah, I'm yeah. Just, 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 just trying to. Some movies all day though, can't we? Just trying to get you guys the easiest way to get where you want to go. The easiest way to get where you want to go. The easiest way to get where you want to go. Last time I got asked kindly by a police officer, I got horses charged to me, so. Well, don't use that experience. Now, judge us all. I don't think it will make last time, will it? It's very polite for us to go the other way off the bridge, and that means, you know, we can explain why. Do you like my hat? Are we, we going to stand here or are we going to move off? Stand here, it's probably too fast. It's fine, she's doing the way people want to move. So are you. <laughs> Sorry. Oh my God. Do you want to come through here? Do you want to watch your back? Sorry. Watch your back, please. Thank you. Thank you. She was part of the protest, by the way. Are you going to stop that? She was part of the protest. Is it because I'm in a wheelchair? Yeah? yeah, free country, mate. Thank you very much. Of course you can. It's been videoed all the time. Hannah, off it sticks. Yeah, can you put it in a bag and put the sticks on the floor? Because they're only garden canes, we can get some more. So that's sticking outside the box. There you go, that's why we need a woman on these actually. I wish you could say that. Well, I don't even get it. Oh, it's the TV. 
real bags. Yeah, well, you, we, we, we can trust you, but some people can't trust you. Hey, let us go. So if I can find a candy bag, we'll be all right. Yes, fine. <laughs> so, Guys, what's going on? Ask you, you go back that way. We're going to ask you, please, to go back that way. And yeah. order for your safety Why? and for us. Over there. Ask you to go back this way. Got, uh, uh, don't grab me. Don't grab me. I'm going. I'm going. I'm going. Don't, don't yeah, push. Several don't times push. Go back. Don't push. I'm back now. I'm back. I'm back. And stay over that way. I'm not. I'm going to go to... Stay over that Fuck way. Fuck you. Do not swear at me. There are I'll people here... I swear at you when you touch me like that. do not appreciate your language. You hurt me right here. Okay. I don't care, you hurt me. Get people off me. do not appreciate your Get language. Off me. If you swear again, Get you won't off be me. Don't assault people. What's your number, by the way? Great. getting shoved around by one of the coppers. Did you see it? I'm on the bridge, I saw you. You was on the pavement just a second ago before I got pushed around and I lost you. No, no, I'm, I'm on the pavement where you were standing just about five minutes ago or less. All right, see you then. Please, because we just take out this area.
Sorry, can I just ask everyone to take a two metre step back? Because you're. We have a lot of space behind us. Please, can I, can I just, just keep walking back, please?
Yeah. 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 Yeah.